yes, we're here. We're here. We are here. Ooh, we're here and we want to say, are you having fun yet? <laughs> And we have been uh, giving you much wisdom and perspectives to be able to look at all of your choices. And for those who do not take what we were saying seriously, are you having fun with this density? <laughs> we are not laughing at you. We are laughing with you. <laughs> As you are noticing, big, 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 big shifts in energy and we are not slowing down and we are pushing you we are triggering you energetically to notice what is going on for you and for others this is a significant time we have said this to you before and we are doing our due diligence and raising the frequency of you all you have chosen to use your free will to be of service, not just in your human conscious mind experience, but also for your greater souls as you chose to come down here to lend a hand. Wow, we're needing both your hands and we need those hands to be jazz hands. <laughs> are you having fun yet? This is a significant time. Uh, you are to be of service. And for those who have done their inner work to have cleared out their clutter and their own spiritual closets to upgrade and update any old belief systems that no longer fit you oh look at you all being so skinny with your <laughs> with your worries and fears we could say that uh, those who are afraid and have worries and fears you are hoarding all of those emotions and so we could say for those emotional hoarders, you could be uh, having the the biggest soul sizes, um, but that is not an analogy that significantly satisfies us. So we will say drop that. Um, isn't that a great idea? To drop all fear, to drop all limitations, expectations of others, and to be able to honor your own reactions and behaviors to others. This is a significant time for you to get over your childhood hurts, to forgive, to see if others were truly holding back their love to you, or were they simply not able to love themselves to therefore love others? Do you see the difference? And therefore, while many adults are feeling very hurt and victimized by their childhood, they are still not loving themselves. Therefore, for their children, for their friends, for their family, they are not being able to love all. And while you are so distracted with your inner hurts from your inner child, you are not actually being able to be of service today because you are distracted from the lack and the pain that was always meant to make you grow and empower yourself to be able to be of profound assistance and service today for those who have managed to be able to honor and face all their fears and insecurities and limited perspectives you are enjoying this high frequency it is a gift and you're relishing in it for those who haven't quite managed to declutter thinking it will just get to it at some point you are noticing all of your fears, all of your concerns suddenly are pressing you to be in concern. Some of this is other lifetime traumas that you are having to really focus on. You're wondering why you're losing your balance and your higher perspective to be able to then pick and pick and pick at some situation, uh, some method that is still consistently played here. You have had many lifetimes here. And so if you have had an unfair exit point from your perspective that was traumatizing and shocking, you will have to emotionally think and feel it to overcome it. You do not need to die all those different ways to be able to overcome the trauma from it. It may be watching a movie where many people are dying all very which ways it would trigger your body uh, to have those emotions to be able to survive the movie 
and uh, you were not lucky as such in those other lifetimes. But of course, uh, when you are so brave at writing your contracts for your lifetimes, uh, when you're living those physical experiences, you forget your bravery, you forget your significance and purpose of having those experiences. And so the trapped emotions can still haunt you, if you will want to use that word or that perspective to realize that this was something you also had on your wish list of experiences and opportunities to grow and heal from. It is significant. And while you may feel that you are originally the soul that was born into your body and you're continually uh, honoring that life contract, you could have partial walk-ins that are wanting to feel the range of experiences that you are thinking and feeling about certain exit points or certain traumas or certain uh, political or environmental or cultural issues and challenges. And so here you are thinking you know yourself, know thyself, and you have had a host, you've had a guest, you've had a visitor, a soul visitor who needs to just lend and feel into your body and your reactions to be able to just complete something that they haven't been able to do. They have no interest in having a full entire life. They are asking and they have organized with your guides, with your soul family, to be able to lend a hand. And while you are not consciously aware of the entrance and the exit of your soul walk-in companions, you may have experienced with alongside them some traumas some triggers uh, you may have thought why is this bothering me now i had such ground foundations uh, of those concepts and why now suddenly out of the blue this is bothering me like nothing else and so we're saying this is potentially those experiences where you have just accepted because you know it's not going to completely destroy you emotionally. You're going to build yourself back uh, to be able to cope and to be able to have a better perspective. But you will not notice the significance of what your body was lent out to do. And so enjoying the way it feels to have that deep balance and inner peace and that higher perspective that does not trigger or bother you. But when you are feeling triggered, there is significance for it. You know that you get triggered for an opportunity to grow. It may not be your original soul that needs that growth. It may be, as we just explained, uh, hosting some souls to be able to have those experiences. This is a significant time. And as we shared with you uh, earlier in another channeling there was some predominant beings of history that came into the vehicle to be able to experience it to share their feelings and thoughts on their lives to be able to feel sharing and expressing back on a third dimensional planet uh, where they had those lifetimes of significant historical value uh, this is uh, a brief moment for the physical body to have hosted those because they could see what they were going through and they had the opportunity to talk and to heal and release and to be able to share and, and to support others along their way. And so while you are very silent in your personal journeys, we see you almost mute, <laughs> not being able to share you're so afraid to share with others because what if it comes out sounding crazy? What if I share some of my insecurities and my concerns and my raw, raw feelings, raw emotions? And what if I accidentally cry? Oh, I can't have that, you say. Can't share real thoughts and feelings and be raw with my friends and family. Don't want them to really know what I'm thinking and feeling. Well, we say to you, they already know how you're thinking and feeling because they feel it energetically. They don't also have an opportunity to share and express what they are feeling from you. And so you are all elephants in your own rooms <laughs> experiencing, holding on to emotions that you can't even share for yourselves. And so this is why we say it is fantastic to have a fur baby uh, that can listen to you if you are so brave to talk to that animal 
many who do talk to the animals are very, very certain that they know exactly what they are um, understanding, what they are expressing and talking to. And so it is a two-way conversation because with a very close pets, you have telepathic connections, uh, but the animals can also talk and demand um, with their, <laughs> their attention-seeking ways. And so the cats and dogs will definitely be able to get their point across with uh, one sound, one bark, one meow can speak volumes uh, because they're so sure with themselves. They know exactly what they're thinking and feeling and they don't need to have long mansplaining conversations with you. However, they are very open and all ears to listening to what you're going through. And so when you share with them, they are open and they do not judge they have acceptance, they love you, and they are wanting to help heal you by listening for you and being there for you. And this is also can occur to those plants who love to be talked to. You are all aware of plants who love to be talked to. And this is a, a challenging uh, step forward for many who are nervous to acknowledge and express in a frequency of sound um, their gratitude to the plants and how they look so pretty. But this is a significant thing. But of course, some humans may feel like it is strange to talk to something that they can't even see has ears to hear the words. And we are saying sound is a frequency vibration and you do not need to have ears to hear it. It is feeling, and you are all very connected into feeling each other, even when you do not speak. Speaking is a fantastic way to have the expressions of your feelings and your emotions. And this is an important sense and an important expression to share and have. And if you do not feel like there is any person that you can share and express, we are saying the plants will listen to you, the trees will listen to you, the grass will listen to you, the water will listen to you, the sky will listen to you, the birds will listen to you, a song will listen to you when you sing with it, animals will listen to you, you will listen to you when you're unsure of what is going on and why you're feeling so anxious while you're feeling like there is so much brooding tension within you it is because you are not able to release the density that potentially may not even be yours as we are forcing and pushing more energy onto those who are very capable you are finding that there is a and natural resistance and you're holding on and trying to identify with the emotions that you are feeling and so you could feel suddenly agitated out of nowhere while you are very connected and you're sensing other people's agitations may not even be in the same house that you're in or even the same street you're on you're able to absorb people's energies and frequencies more than you're even aware of but we are saying if you threw a ball in every which way, we would say your frequency energy fields are even far beyond that. So you cannot see your true range. Your true, true energy field it is very advanced and very sparse in your perception of space. You cannot see how advanced you are in your energy fields and so you are picking up all and if we say each individual person is a radio station uh, playing their songs it may be happy songs it may be sad scary songs it may be all sorts of range of music um, that can classify that person's mood at that time you are all picking up everyone's radio signals and sounds and songs and it becomes a jumble because there is disbalance some are happy some are traumatized some are in deep grief 
you are feeling it all. And when you are not recognizing that this is not your frequency of songs that everyone is playing to you, you could feel very overwhelmed and very busy and very chaotic within you energetically as there is much that you're absorbing. And so we are saying, ground yourselves. We have given you many tools to be able to do this. We are wanting you to practice again and again and again to release all tension in the body. And notice and remind yourself, you are controlling your meat suit. You are the puppeteer of your meat suit. You are the you are in control of your body. But remember you are not the body. But when your minds are so busy and you're overthinking, over worrying, over analyzing everything and not coming into the space of your heart and there is a disbalance between thinking and feeling with no in-between of expression, you can become very disbalanced. And we're saying talking is the best way for you to heal and to recognize what's going on with you physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, energetically. Oh. It is significant times. And we have said this. But when you do not realize how advanced your energy fields are growing and how you are deeply connected to everyone, and this is a big responsibility to ground yourself and not get thrown overboard with the wave of emotions and the wave of energy. And for those who have been jolted and stuttering and feeling overwhelmed, uh, we are saying these are great signs and examples once again that there is change coming and that your responsibility to hold on to high frequency, do not drop into fear or worry, to ground that out by spreading and sharing. And we are saying, if you just extend your energetic arms with love to all, this will help you immediately balance and realign yourself into a high frequency which will then naturally ground their energy of density down through you. When you are high frequency with love, profound love, nothing but love in your heart to spread to the world, you are not capable of holding on to density because you have pushed out that density down through your feet energetically into the ground. And so we are saying love yourself, love all, and this will empower you when you start thinking about other things that are not loving, you will bottom out your frequency vibration and you will feel it all and be stagnant in the sludge of the density while you're thinking of all the worries and concerns and problems for the world. We need you to be the lighthouses of high frequency of love to all and shine confidence that all is well confidence that you love yourself to love others and confidence that you are seeing where people are at and respecting their journey while inspiring them to love themselves feel good about themselves to be able to question their own personal pain and question what was this teaching them what was this giving them lessons for and how could they see this as a positive rather than a negative aspect of self Honor them being the victims to overcome and be survivors and empower themselves through living on planet Earth, which is a very challenging place to be. Are you having fun yet? Are you having fun yet? When you know that there is choices to be made to have fun or not, what are you choosing to do? What are you actively doing? How are you wanting to perceive the grand awakening? How are you going to respect your position here on earth 
being a lighthouse beacon of hope and love where you're taking your responsibilities to forgive all and to still make a priority to love each and every single person as a version of self. We understand that it is hard for some to forgive others who we have felt have been hurt, who have hurt us. And we say that is a choice to hold on to hurt feelings. You must understand where they're coming from. While there are some people that want to hurt others because they hurt themselves, this is uh, something that you have to overcome. Well, many do not deserve this treatment. You cannot change the past. But when people are trying to hurt you today, you're allowed to hold them accountable for that and ask them, why are you trying to hurt me with those words? You cannot hurt me with those words anymore because I love myself and I do not recognize the labels you are placing on me. So why do you have to try to use those words that you are projecting onto me to either make me see your pain or for you to feel my pain? We have got lost in this translation. You must speak. You must stand up with your... You must stand up to your... You must stand up to communication of each other. We understand you do not like conflict, but avoiding conversations is not helping anyone, including yourself. You must be able to respect yourself enough and to be able to support people who are very hurt and trying to hurt others, either by trying to give them disinformation that is fear-based material and concepts and limited perspectives or something else. It is time to make people stop and question their behaviors, their responses. And we see many people who are very hurt, who do not want to look at their own inner work, who choose to just spend their time distracting themselves by being what you would call trolls on the internet. Um, this is interesting because we see for some trolls, they raise their frequency vibrations because they love being trolls. This is a choice that they make because they're wanting to hurt and control and manipulate others to feel terrible about themselves and this ironically even though we question their moral compasses they like to hurt others and make others feel small and we say this serves them because they don't get held accountable and they're not responsible for their troll behavior and we say to actually stand up to a troll um, takes courage and it actually is significant because they don't get the joy, they don't get the payoff, they don't get their motives, which is to uh, manipulate others, dominate others. And so you can see them because they make personal attacks. Uh, so... When you stand up to one of those people who want to feel high frequency vibrations for belittling others, we say it is an empty uh, high frequency vibration because they need to maintain it constantly. They don't realize that they can actually heal themselves and empower themselves and love themselves and get over the hurts of when they were trolled potentially by their parents but they wouldn't call it being trolled uh, so there is much to be said here about how people want to hurt others and when it is cowards that go on to computers to fight and hurt others through not even being accountable for who you are and having this bravery fake shield of amenity online we are saying we are going to 
make them realize this no longer serves them. We are going to give them epiphanies because while they feel comfortable knowing that they are anonymous behind a screen, they have this disconnect from all of the people who they are reaching who are not invisible, who are real people who have real feelings. And so we are going to make them have epiphanies that there is impact of what they are doing to others. This is a significant moment for them. Mm. We have distracted ourselves, but we do not mind because we are grateful to be able to have explored this further. This is a significant way to have been able to find more aspects and avenues of how we can help humanity and by finding where some moral compasses are not in true alignment to their soul's purpose. We are saying it is challenging for people to see what the motives are. Uh, is someone trying to uh, have confrontation with you because they are showing you their hurt or are they just trying to hurt others with no choice and interest and desire to grow and so it is about you feeling confident to stand up to yourself stand up for what you believe in and stand up for love and even when you question people and their statements, is this coming from love or is this coming from fear or low perspectives and lack of love and insecurities? Asking a question is always going to be better than making an accusation. And when you're trying to question people's motives, even though you can see it very clearly, you may need someone to ask them a question for them to question themselves. There is much to be said about how the human uh, behavior has evolved in terms of being hurt upon hurt upon hurt in many generations. How you can feel so disconnected from each other that you have not stopped and thought about how you're hurting others and you're in a routine of not caring and considering the others that are using same platforms. It is a breeding ground of negativity. And to survive in such breeding grounds, you have to get what you would call tough skin. But then this does not help that person to be vulnerable and to heal their tough skin to open up to what's really going on for them it's a challenging situation when you've had to be survivors for so long in an emotional world to then suddenly be open about your own behaviors demeanors attitudes and actions this is why most people do not want to look at their inner work because they are afraid if they start going into their past behaviors, they will realize that not only have they been a victim, they've also been the bully. And this is this could be said for all, uh, as you've learned how to feel the emotions of overstepping moral compasses and understepping moral compasses, speaking up for self too much and not speaking up for self at all. It's all practicing to find the balance. So there is no good or bad experiences. We say it's all experiences, significant experiences to learn and grow from. Forgive yourselves, forgive others, and now reset your emotional judgment to love all and see that for all future conversations and connections being afraid, being hurt, being resistant, being angry, being judgmental, all of those things 
do not serve you anymore. It's a choice. You could still be playing the games to either come back and grow and heal from karma. And as we said before, you cannot consciously be aware of shifts of soul energies that come into your body to have an experience with you to then leave the body. And so trust that every day you have opportunities to love yourself and empower yourself to love others and empower others. There might also be a part of your day, tough love approaches that you must give and share where you must trigger others to think and question their own behaviors, their own reactions. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> we say many are swearing to themselves, I will never do 3D lives again. This is beyond ridiculous. This was just not fun at all. And I'm actually quite fed up with it. And we're saying yes, from your perspective, that could be very much a very accurate assessment of your life experiences. But when you look back and reflect back on all of the things that you actually take for granted in your daily lives as well, you will have fond memories. We promise you that. Now, if you do not believe us, explore what fond memories you will have and can have and will be having when you reflect back on the moments you have left here now. And in times to come, when you are no longer here, what are the things that you wish that you could make the most of? And we're saying, this time is significant. Make choices to empower yourself with love. And we will always say this to you with our own love for all.